Oh yeah, look at you. <clears throat> Namaste, love and light, everyone. Let's put more people to colors. Thank you for the roses. Sweet roses, hey. Let more people come in. This is like what, my fourth live, I believe. So shout out to you guys that's been faithfully being here, okay? This is going to be a, a collective reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave all the rest. If it doesn't resonate, you know, just leave, okay? So let's see what the energy is like. Hey, everyone. Shout out to all you guys. I'm a little nervous to see what the energy is going to be like. Hope it's nothing crazy, Okay. <sighs> Some of y'all could be having this divine understanding that someone may be your soulmate, okay? Or maybe someone is having this divine understanding that you're their soulmate. Maybe you may recognize that y'all are soulmates, but, you know, that don't mean you have to be together. Yeah, deception here. Maybe they could have been a bit deceitful or something like that, okay? Or maybe this person is hiding behind a mask. Maybe they're trying to hide, or maybe they was hiding the fact that you guys are, like, soulmates i'm hearing divine soulmates i'm getting like a lot of divine energy like you're receiving divine understanding maybe this is like your divine counterpart but they was like hiding from you hiding that part of of them knowing that y'all have this like divine connection yeah like i feel like they recognize that they're going to communicate with you guys soon about this here okay yeah i feel like you guys been ascending from feeling abandoned from this person, y'all could have been doing a lot of shadow work. Maybe once upon a time you settled with like karmic energy, certain past energies you dealt with, and it made you feel stuck in life. And I feel like you guys are overcoming that. Once upon a time, you dealing with that BS and not feeling appreciated made you feel a lot of grief, but you're ascending past that. Congratulations, right? And you're um, ascending past fam um, generational curses, you know, old family patterns and stuff. <sighs> Someone's family could have been, like, trying to block your twin flame connection. Maybe this could have been your family. All right. I don't know. Maybe somebody didn't want you to recognize you have a twin flame. This could be, like, a twin flame soulmate here. Maybe you ended things with this twin, but y'all coming back together here. They were going through a dark night of the soul. And it's like they want to receive you now, okay? They want to go through some type of transformation with you together. Like, they're making that offer to you. Like, I want to go through this with you together. They may even give you an engagement. Okay, I'm hearing family matters. Isn't that a show, family matters? Okay, maybe somebody feels like family matters now. Like, you are part of their family. Like, y'all have, like, some type of pack or bond together. And y'all meant to be family. Y'all meant to settle down together. Like, wow, a fresh start with your twin flame. Okay, y'all gonna have a family together, manifest a family, or yeah, yeah, y'all supposed to. Y'all went through many cycles with this twin, or you went through many cycles to find this twin. Who is this? No. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to all you guys that's here. Yeah, divine timing is bringing your twin flame back around. I feel like you know they're compromising like a part of themselves. Like I feel like they're releasing a part of their, like, soul, like, their dark soul here, okay? I, that's what I'm getting. I don't know. And they're at the crossroads, and it's like they want to meet up with you with this nostalgia. Like, you're the nostalgia. Like, they're using their free will to say no to any addictions to pass. Like, they really want to be devoted to, like, making things work with you, like, giving you an offer here. Even if you're willing to, like, take things slow, they want to. I feel like they're really trying to hide this from you. But I feel like they're feeling so stuck. They can't hide it anymore. Like, they feel like they've been settling, trying to hide this. Like, they feel like y'all are beyond soulmates. I feel like y'all are, like, twin soulmates, okay? Twin flame soulmates here. And I do feel like, you know, they feel like you're, like, the connection y'all have is rare. Like, they're never going to find that natural, born like, connection or whatever. Maybe y'all bloodlines are meant to, like, come together. That's why I was saying, like, you know, something about their family. Maybe their family is trying to hold y'all back. All right. Somebody name start with an S or a D, okay? 
Y'all could have had like a lot of snakes around you guys, like three snakes here. Y'all could also be having divine, receiving divine understanding of these three snakes. They could have been talking a lot of ish about you. You receiving like whispers from spirit about what they're saying, or you're hearing like the whispering of what they're saying. So like it's spirit delivering that to you. Like you guys went through many cycles, people doing spell work on you, you know, giving the spirits like blood and all this type of stuff to like take you out. These are like people in ego giving their off their giving offerings of like blood and sacrifices. All right, and these people, whoever these people are, they they want you back. All right. I don't know if this is like an egg is 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 well, I don't know if this is I don't know if this is twin. I don't know. All right. <laughs> somebody that wants you back who you took apart like a break from you release them like maybe this i don't know it could be two different people all right or the same person i don't know this if this is your twin making sacrifices and stuff i don't know they made a big mistake if they did that i don't know maybe they had to make that mistake to learn not to do it all right or i don't know but there was somebody in your energy they they want you to like return there's some somebody got a demon on them all right, and you could have, like, took a break from this connection, but you decided to just release them. This could have been, like, you know, somebody you was with after you separated from this twin that was, like, you know, being, like, deceiving to themselves about how they feel about you, okay? Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, so sweet. All right, yeah, you guys are healing. Like, I feel like you guys are healing and surrendering to to what to what you don't even have control over, or that's what you need to do, like, if certain people are watching you, don't worry about them. Surrender to that. Give that to God and just keep healing. You may have a weirdo stalker stalker watching you, very focused on y'all. This could be someone that really wants you to experience grief. They can see that you guys are spiritually awakened. This could be someone trying to block your awakening, block you from um, waking up to your lessons. All right, waking up to your lessons. Like the fact that you, like waking up to your lessons so you'll learn them. Like they, like they don't want you to learn your lessons in life so you won't grow okay like i said y'all could have went through many cycles of people doing spell work on you all right these could be like other ex masculines here or in between you was with like this, this twin all right we'll see or this could have been um females who is this y'all be so rude Whatever, my block. Hold on, I'll do that later. I'm not really reading the comments, but if I catch something, I'm going to block you. All right? Because there'll be some trolls that don't want y'all to watch me. But I don't know what they're focused on. But I feel like, yeah, you guys are definitely 5D awakened. Okay? I feel like you're finding your 5D partner here. This is your divine counterpart. I feel like for some of you guys, this person had to work through some inner child traumas. Maybe they had to compromise that. Yeah, I feel like they're, like, compromising that dark side of them. And I feel like y'all could have had, like, a karmic ex-soulmate trying to, like, intercept that, intervene, ruin that, mess that up. All right, this could have been someone that you was with before or after this twin, okay? Before you met this twin or after y'all separated, okay? I feel like they're choosing to, like, they want to balance themselves out. Like, they want to be equal internally. And I feel like they've been, I feel like they've been hiding, like, the fact that they actually been taking action towards you, Divine Feminine. Like, every action that they make, every, every move they make, every move they take, every action they take is to, like, get closer to you. So them even working on themselves and wanting to purge them, their spirit is one way they'll get close to you because they really do regret hurting you. Like, they've been recognized that, y'all, they're twin. All right, y'all, they're twin flame. But I feel like they also recognize they was bound to their demons. All right, listen, they're, and I'm getting regret made them do a lot of stupid stuff, too. It made them repeat a lot of cycles, had them spiraling. Them regret losing you, even if they lost you many times in the past. I don't, nah, I don't know how many, but if y'all went through many cycles with this person of, like, in and out, runner chaser or whatever like that and i'm even getting divine understanding of like runner chaser and like twin flame connections because even in karmic soulmates you know you'll experience like a person running and chasing you but you know i feel like the difference with your twin is that y'all always come back around i mean we'll see but i just feel like 
y'all could have went through like the same even if it's like the same arguments disagreements and it was their ego i do feel like that this is someone that wants to dream big but they have to clear out their karmic lessons first with their ego so this could be why they're willing to compromise sacrifice them that side of themselves so they can head towards the light yeah look they could even been with a karmic partner that was affecting their um that was affecting them and and their life really it's like i feel like this karmic partner was affecting their karma like and they could be contemplating thinking about this. maybe they thought this was you at first but they realized they have to do shadow work and they see it wasn't you you was always there for them all right whenever they did need you and, and you was there i mean like i feel like honestly y'all Maybe at some point this person felt like you wasn't there for them, but it's because maybe because they wasn't there for you and they was holding that against you, but they're learning that karmic lesson as well. Like they know that they need to heal. Like this is someone they, they also realize they need to heal from whatever, whoever this karmic partner is that was attached to them, like heal as in purge their, themselves. And they need to ascend from whatever type this karmic partner is. Like they could definitely be devoted to ascending like you are. You can flip flop the roles. Yeah, this is someone that wants to, ascend their vibration they're truly devoted all right they may be into burning candles here okay so somebody's into conjuring someone could have called in papa legba at the cross he received whatever this karmic message is but you're heading towards it he opened up a road for you to get out of that all right whatever it is. i feel like a karmic could have tried to open up a crossroad for papa legba to come in and send some curse towards you do some type of dark black magic and i feel like he opened up a clear road for you and released that darkness Whoever this person is, they're going through a dark night of the soul. They actually need your forgiveness. Like I said, y'all went through many cycles of people doing spell work on you. Now, this twin flame, all right, they was once they they downgraded to a karmic partner. They had to learn a lesson of doing spell work. I don't know, maybe they're being upgraded back to twin. I don't. Yeah, I'm realizing so much about these these connections. All right, how even certain soul connections can upgrade and downgrade. Okay, like I I dead ass read um in one of my readings that some of y'all was with a false twin but it became a karmic false twin and when i read the book the book described how a false twin will mirror like a karmic relationship which and but it's different right but that's let me know that that relationship that was posed that was it was meant to serve a purpose of false twin manifest into a karmic false twin because of that person's behavior not saying this is the case here but i am seeing how certain soul connections can upgrade and downgrade all right, so if this person was meant to be your twin, they definitely could have downgraded to being just a karmic because of their actions. But now that they clean themselves up, they're upgrading themselves back to you because you, you're a twin. You're always going to be a twin. All right, and, and sometimes when we're not with our mirror twin, our divine twin, we will manifest false twins, karmic twins. All right, you know, for all the karmic soulmates and stuff like that, twin flame facilitators and stuff. I'm learning more about the twin flame journey just based upon what I'm going through. All right, well, you know, we'll see in the end. But for the most part, I feel like this relationship is being upgraded. Okay. The stress has you sick. Oh, no, you got to release that stress. Hey, is is hey, Tiffany. Hey, I didn't even know you was here. Thank you for the crown and the finger heart. Oh, thank you. Y'all so sweet, y'all. Yes, I just started. I did. I started like um around 10. So whatever the time is now. I should turn on my laptop. Thank you guys. That's so sweet. I wasn't even reading the um. Yeah, I started seventeen minutes ago. I need to keep up with the chat, but I just be channeling. And if I look at the chat, I'm gonna get distracted. Oh wow! Hold on, y'all. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? My AirPods moved to my Mac. Let me know if you can hear me. Right when I was. I don't know why I did that. Oh, let me turn off the Bluetooth. Can y'all hear me now? Okay, I hope y'all can hear me good. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting, they don't want y'all to be with y'all twin. Y'all definitely understanding that, like, people were trying to keep y'all in fear. They wanted y'all to be in that thought process of, like, you know, this whoever this person is not your twin flame, they're not your divine counterpart. And whoever was doing that, that was karmic, and they're facing karma for that. Because they that their intention was to send destruction toys your mind so y'all won't manifest big dreams together it's like you could have been pushed away into solitude away from your divine twin your counterpart right from this commitment take out resonate all right 
a lot of y'all had to surrender to this and just allow God to just manifest it for you guys. Well, to bring this person back if it's meant to be. All right, you could have called this person in or they could. I feel like y'all called each other in, to be honest. And I feel like that's why you guys are reconciling. Now, I also feel like some of y'all could be worried if this person's still going to be in their private ego. They're in the child traumas and wounds. I'm glad y'all can still hear me. But, you know, we have to see. I got 36 people here. Yeah, I'm glad it's going up every time. Okay, yeah, I feel like, you know, this person, they know that they can't be with you in that old way. Like I said, I feel like they're honestly detaching that. Yeah, they're saying no to fear. They're saying no to their dark self. You guys just got to, you know, pray and hope and manifest that this works out for you guys if it resonates. All right, like, well, think positive. All right, don't be in fear. All right, because, yeah, look, Divine Masculine, he he been knew y'all was soulmates. He been knew y'all was meant to be. I feel like y'all learned many karmic lessons together, and that's what helped y'all soul connection grow. And I feel like, honestly, even throughout the pause of y'all connection, yeah, you were still ascending, but I feel like you really haven't found someone that got you to the energy that this person have gotten you, all right? And I feel like when y'all was with this person, they was in the 3D, but they're trying to block out the 3D from their mind. They're like, they're tired of settling, all right? They want to be, you know, ascended. And they have they had to learn that lesson of, you know, even thought. Okay, is it, affecting them, you know, certain negative thoughts. Maybe y'all could have tried to give them that divine understanding. <sighs> but I feel like this person is seeing now, like it was them being stubborn. It could have been also a female as well trying to separate you guys, like I was saying. Oh my God, somebody, I, I don't know. There could have been a female working with a voodoo doll because I'm seeing like, her wanting your mouth to be, like, sewed up. Like, she didn't want y'all to, like, talk about her, okay, or something like that. Like, she didn't want y'all to tell the truth. She was afraid. And she was also putting a lot of fear on you. Like, she didn't want you. Somebody calls up in fear-mongering. Fear-mongering you. What? Someone was, like, using you as a as a tool to, like, fear-monger people. Like, people were trying to make it seem like you should be the one people be afraid of. But... I feel like she was trying to project a lot of fear onto you and she was trying to manifest it in a way where you would be afraid to talk about it. And she could have been, or he could have been watching you for a long time. They wanted to make sure that you give up on your passions, your dreams, you manifesting your twin flame back into your life here. Okay. Yeah. The spring. So I feel like, you know, for some of y'all, y'all could have reconciled with this person back in the spring or y'all could have been growing and blossoming, blooming a lot this spring season. Or a new seed been planted for you guys this spring season. And, and I feel like the seed is blossoming, blooming right now. Like, as you, you see, you're going to see growth. Yeah, divine feminine, that's you. You're going to start seeing your growth. The process, the progress, whatever sign that you need, confirmation that you're on the right path, you're going to receive it. Like, a lot of y'all may be thinking you at a, the wrong crossroad or you're being tricked to go down a bad crossroad. Like, no, I feel like, honestly... Some of you guys be at the crossroad of um, reconciling a family again. Like you and I'm telling you, you and someone's meant to bring a family together. Or you at the crossroad of like de detaching from that part of you that may feel cold, rigid, shy, a little bit fearful, or whatever fears you've been dealing with. Are right, you at the crossroad of, of reconciling with your 5D twin? All right, I have to say it with the fifth dimension and soulmate, your 5D twin soulmate. All right, y'all souls are meant to be together in 5D, okay? And they, they're receiving that sign. It's like you're going to see your hard work paying off, and it's going to give you a lot of self-worth, like you did it. And it's going to give you a lot of confidence. The destruction, the lies, all that came back around on somebody, all of it, and you're still growing anyway, all right? And don't feel bad that you closed the door on this person and told them no in the past, all right? Even people who, like, either it's this twin or whoever else, all right? Because you need to blossom and bloom, all right? Like I said, a lot of y'all had to take a pause on this connection. But I feel like it's time for it to grow now. All right, I'm getting springtime. So I feel like something very special was promised for you this springtime. And it could definitely be this twin flame connection. Okay, because I'm getting it's like a new connection. For a lot of you guys, this could be a whole new connection. All right, just flip flop the rose. I don't know. All right, I mean, we have vibrations here. So if you felt like someone was trying to block your vibrations put a pause to your vibration all right yeah i feel like that a barrier is up like that's being blocked 
And I feel like you guys are going to start feeling a lot more open again, especially around your heart. You're going to be feeling a lot more in your heart. You're going to be feeling a lot more, like more downloads coming to your mind. Your vision is going to come back. You're, you're going to even see your spirit guides appear. Like you guys are utilizing your free will to even be a guide or to guide others or to receive guidance. All right, so you're going to receive that. Someone should not be trying to block that from you. Like this could li literally be a spiritual hater. They may claim that they're a spiritual leader, but they block other spiritual leaders. Or they're just a hater, and they may claim that these leaders are haters. All right, you choose to ascend, so that's what you're gonna. That's what you're gonna do is ascend. You're utilizing your light energy to ascend, not to harm others. All right, and you're devoted to it. All right, this is why you know whoever this person is attacking you, they in bit regret because they see that you are devoted, and they realizing that they they sell in so much, and even this karmic partner, not this karmic, but this this um, I said karmic partner now twin, okay. They realizing that they settled and they want to be your twin again. All right. For a lot of you guys, it could have been a third party intercepting. Or maybe they think that y'all twins. I feel like they mind was just like distracted by third parties, y'all. Honestly, and these bitches playing victim like they didn't do nothing. Like they got to this person's head. They could even use sex. All right. A lot of sex magic. Okay. Yeah. If y'all see things clearly, it was a lot of sex magic. And, and you know, they could have, you know, they could have consent to it, too. I don't know. They they trying to say the third party got to their head, but they need to release this person because they know that's why you're not speaking to them. This person saying they want to be with their twin flame again. All right, y'all could have been with a third party too. Like I said, y'all could have dated other people when y'all was in, in separation with this main person. Things could have been messy from the beginning of y'all connection and, and, and this person want to utilize this, this time now to make things right. All right, they're tired of this third party playing victim. It's like this third party be using this person for energy, like for sex. Little money, drugs, she's stuck in life. She's jealous of you. She wants him to keep you muted. All right, he sees you as a divine feminine and so worthy because you have so much self-worth. And she just don't know how to get there, all right? She really trying to destroy your mind. I'm telling you, somebody was working with Papa Legba to attack you, but he's a part of your family, and, and he turned cold toward his karmic, and he's tricking her and teasing her and scaring her ass. All right, people need to leave him alone because he do got a dark side, okay? And and he's a he's a fine trickster. He don't know how to trick you. So I'll just chill out with all that black magic with Papa Leg by. You know he's an open road. He can bless you. He can remove obstacles, you know. You don't have to use him for black magic. All right? You got to know how to utilize your energy, all right, your power, all right? or you're going to be bound to the devil. All right? Listen. Listen. The karmic is scared because they feel the devil haunting and watching them. First of all, I know the energy jumping, hit it, because y'all was dealing with a lot, okay? And, and this energy could have affected the twin flame connection. But it was like an evil dark witch. It was someone very witchy. This is someone that may, I don't know. They was receiving like messages from the devil. Maybe they thought it was from God, but it was definitely the devil tricking them. They obviously calling the devil before. The devil was already around them before. Okay, before you came on the scene. But I feel like the devil received your magic, your 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 magic. Ooh, I mean, I meant to say your message, but whatever magic she using with the devil, yeah, it's conjuring. Yeah, he receives her message, and I feel like she's feeling it. Like, it's her black magic. Like, she feel her black magic crushing her right now, you guys. All right, he, and she's just stuck on what she did. Her mind is stuck on what the hell she did. And this could have been someone that was trying to use black magic on you just to stop you from manifesting your big dreams. And this could even be with your person. This is an unawakened person, and now they stuck at the crossroads of Papa Leba. Okay, and they don't know how to get out of it. They don't know how to untie themselves from this black magic. They feel like their ending is 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 near or here with Papa Legba. All right, not only is he part of your bloodline, but he's part of your tribe. But this karma, they, they did not know that. Or they may have believed that he did not believe that. I don't know. Y'all don't have to pray to him or give anything for him to, to show up because, you know, when when the ancestors see that you're in trouble and your family, they're going to protect you. You have those silent white workers that work for you in silent. You don't even know it. All right, so one of them could have been Papa. So take how it resonates. Talking about Mary Kay. 
And this person could have been saying, you doing black magic. You're doing all this black magic to ascend and receive light. They, they're really fixed on that. Like, they're mad that their return, the senders, was returned to them. Like, yeah, and they they felt like it was you. They got an ego, got mad. But no, it was it was your spirit team. I feel like your spirit team was mad. And they let them know, like, it was them who sent it back. All right? If you guys did your own return senders, spirit commanded you to do so. And they need your forgiveness. You don't need them. These people could be trying to lie and deny now about all the magic that they've done. They trying to, yeah, I feel like they're trying to take it out your head too. Like, this is someone that was projecting you need healing. These people was really coming for you. They're trying to forget about how they was coming for you. They was really projecting that you need healing and it was their ego. It was coming from their ego. And a lot of them wouldn't even communicate with you. And that's something that Papa Legba did not like. If this is like that particular person working with Papa Legba, he did not like the fact that they were not even communicating with you the right way. Like he rules communication. Like he can clearly see like this, this, this situation ain't right. You, you didn't even communicate the divine feminine. You saying she needs healing, but she's healing for her big dreams to manifest. Like they trying to use him to destroy you throughout your life. You'll go through many cycles of karma and destruction. Every time you'll build yourself up, you back at the crossroads with him and you got to do, you got to make a sacrifice, pay for an, uh, uh, you got to pay for, and a sacrifice to be offered to, to Papa or Ishu, all right, to be for this to be removed. Like, they really thought they can do this, and they are in regret, and they're trying to deny it. They say, I would never do that, da, da, da. They say that because you know it's true, and it did not work. If it worked, they may still keep it to themselves, but they'll tell certain people, which would still be their downfall. That's their biggest downfall now. They talk too damn much, all right? They talk too much, all right? And, and snitches get stitches, for real. They talk too much. They got to learn that lesson. Like, don't get me wrong, you know, Y'all confiding in a person, venting, you opening up to someone because you think you can trust them, that's separate from talking too much. You know somebody is telling you their business and you want to run and spread it, like wildfire and create chaos with it. Yeah, you talk too much. Snitches get stitches. Well, for some of you guys, Papa's a part of your spirit team. And, you know, our spirit guys switch up, you know. Sometimes they'll be here for three months or a year and then switch up. So he could be here temporarily to help you because these karmics, they could be working with African spirituality, Haitian voodoo, Santeria. All right, and they could claim they was part of your tribe, but they was karmic trying to send you karma all because you ascending. They were jealous from day one when you guys were ascending. All right, it's like this is this is someone that didn't even want you to be with your twin flame. Even this, even if this person saw you who your twin was, if this is let's just say you got a twin flame reading from this person, all right, about whoever I'm picking up on, they purposely did not want you to see this was your person, so they were sending Papa, who whatever spirit. I'm seeing Archangel Michael coming through too. He's protecting you. He, this person was definitely using Papa to like attack you, and they wanted to create war. This is the one you know, and and I feel like they wanted Archangel Michael to fight Papa to create war in your bloodline, so you won't connect with the African spirituality because that's your blood right. I mean, your bloodline, that's your birthright. I know not everyone it, birthright is meant to work with these African spirits, and however you working with them is your business. But I don't feel like you're doing anything bad or anything wrong at all. If anything, it's with grace and love and blessed energy. All right, but um, yeah. So I feel like they were thats what they was uh, thinking, or I don't know what they was imagining they had. But I feel like Archangel Michael was pe- protecting you, and so was Papa Legba. All right, but they were trying to use him with spells, like they—they they wasn't even using him properly. Like they were trying to attach spell work to him. Like that's not how you do things, and they was really trying to block your ascension process. And now they want to try to make you forget about it all because the ish did not work. A lot of y'all, you could forget about it. But, you know, don't forget about it as in, like, act like it didn't happen. But don't, you don't have to be, you don't have to be a part of your reality anymore. All right, that's what I mean by that. It's like, I don't know. I feel like these people are just still unawakened. And they smell like shit. Yeah. Don't forget, like, from your heart, like, you know, just let that, that anger go. You don't need to hold on to that. Thank you all for being here. I, what time is it? 10.33. Okay, yeah, you guys learned your lesson. This was a big lesson you learned. And then a lot of huge rewards for you. The biggest reward is y'all sending to the 5D. All right, and I'm seeing, like, your inner child. Like, okay, first of all, someone could have been trying to say your inner child is karmic. Your inner child is doing bad things. Your inner child is a good child, okay? Uh, An obedient child. You're an obedient child of God. God knows your inner child. This is why you was chosen since birth, okay? Um, I'm hearing childbirth, okay? But since birth, all right, that you you was going to send to the 5D. Like, this is a part of your uh, uh, caution record. 
okay? It's a part of your caution. You was always meant to ascend. Maybe these people saw this and they didn't want y'all to, to notice. Yeah, y'all about to give birth to a child. I'm hearing childbirth, all right? Y'all about to give birth to a child here, okay? A child that's maybe a ballerina, or you may have a child that wants to be a ballerina, all right, into dancing, or she has, or he has a lot of good energy, positive energy around, all right? Somebody could have been trying, this could be you guys, all right? And your children mirror your talents. Someone could have been trying to have you all tied up, all right, as far as like your inner child, or keep you in your inner child wounds and traumas. This definitely was a dark witch. What What is up with them? This was a dark witch. I'm telling y'all, this was a witch. She was she 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 thought she knew exactly what to do as far as spells. And she broke the, the Wiccan rule. She thought she knew. Maybe she's a part of Wiccan. She may claim she know about twin, twin flames. She's admired by your twin flame connection because she's like, I can learn so much and feed off of y'all light through learning. All right, she didn't know that y'all was protected. All right, like y'all was like y'all. Yeah, you guys, Ho hold on, because I was picking up a few things. They're trying to make y'all afraid. They're really trying to keep y'all scared. I feel like them having y'all on their altar was against the Rick and Wood here. And I feel like, again, going back to Papa Legba, all right, y'all, they was conjuring him in their house, and they trying to sweep him out now. They listen, because they listen. You know, he also have a childlike side, um, Ilegua. All right, he's really playing games with this Carmen. Who, this witch was conjuring Papa Legba, okay? All right, Ilegua, this is crazy. Everything gonna be okay. They were trying to use him to scare you or to get you to, like, to stop working with his energy or to stop resonating with him or to keep his blessings for you away. Let's see, spirit. I don't know, spirit. Tell me about this witch. All right, wow. Well, she thinks that she's a divine feminine, and she may think that she's just like you, like y'all look alike. That's crazy. Like, she's a witch. She's trying to hide her witch side by trying to say she's a divine feminine, a goddess, but deep down inside, she's like an old hag. Like, I feel like she used beauty spells. All right. She may even use, like, the mirror to, to enhance her beauty. All right, yeah, she could be a tarot card reader. She definitely utilized magic with this wand, and she was sending you negative intentions to go against your um your magical side, your protection. Yeah. Y'all, she was definitely... Using her tarot cards against y'all by tapping into y'all energy. I don't know why she's thinking that like, you are this dark witch like her. Whatever this is, like y'all may not even be the same age, or she's aging real bad. You could be aging well. Yeah, look, union. And I just saw fertility. So you, a lot of y'all gonna end up pregnant again. And you're gonna be protected during your pregnancy. Y'all could be witches, but y'all healers. The reason why you're so protected. And you have Papa leg bar protection because you are a good witch. This person don't believe in like that good and bad stuff, I guess. Not like good or bad, but the ancestors may operate, actually operate out of good. Okay? This is like a witch trying to utilize her power against you. This is crazy. She was doing tarot readings on your relationship. She was doing tarot readings to see if you actually meant to be with this person. Okay, and this is someone that's also asking if you're meant for prosperity or if you're trying to take theirs. Like, they've been, it was been confirmed. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they got the Wheel of Fortune card. They was been trying to read your destiny. I feel like they did see that you're destined for some great fortune, but they don't know specifically what it is. That's why they're watching y'all and they're putting two and two together. And they're trying to do tarot readings to confirm that. All right, to calculate. I'm, I can't make this up. All right, they're trying to block me from exposing this because they know this shit is crazy as hell. 
But like they were asked the tarot cards questions to confirm whatever they're calculating in their mind after they watched you. All right, this person really wants to see if you're actually in the 5D. It's like, I feel like they're trying to use your, with this staff, I'm getting like, you know, a magic. Okay, you know, staff is another like magical tool. They're trying to use your magic against you. Maybe they're trying to use magic to F up your stability. Maybe they know that you're utilizing your magical side to keep yourself energetically stable or you're protecting yourself. They could be trying to mess up your home or get you, make you homeless. This is someone, like, they are a whole, like, clown. Like, that's what I'm getting, a circus clown or whatever like that. Moon cycles. I'm hearing moon tarot. This could be a tarot reader that have, like, moon tarot in their name. Or maybe you guys have that. I said this before. A karmic could have used their, their cycle blood during the moon cycle. And they had it on that altar with you. I told you a karmic was offering blood, man. I can't make this up. They could be really sad, bound to sadness and depression because of their, they're doing spells. It's almost like they're sacrificing themselves for to take your prosperity from you. And they just want to take it so you won't have it. They don't need it. And that's one thing that Papa don't like as well. He don't have no respect for her. She may think he don't see that part of her with this cloak. But he does. She's trying to appear that she's all love and light with this summer, but she's not. And she's trying to pretend and mimic like she has your bright and light spirit. It's like, how can you mimic and copy her when you don't even want no parts of her? You know, none of that makes any sense. Like, you guys are truly the good witch, the witch healer. And she's trying to mimic your 5D reality. All right, yeah, you are truly the high priestess or high priest with this responsibility over your head, over your shoulders. This is what you, like, you guys came on this planet to be this witch healer. And you know how you're utilizing your magical side to heal the earth, to heal others. This can even be through your word. And this is why you guys set boundaries and clear these karmic witches out of your energy. Like these were kitchen witches. They may claim they're alchemists. They're really good at what they do. All right, yeah, they were utilizing their ancestors. And one is populated by Ishu or Legwa. They may be saying they're tired of you calling on him, but they're calling on him. They're actually utilizing Spells, like I said, they could be utilizing certain herbs, offering stuff that he liked to call this person in. Y'all could be water signs or dealing with one. This person could be trying to figure out where your home is or they're, or they're targeting your home. Specifically, water signs or you have water in your chart or you're dealing with one. Fire, they're doing spell work against you. They're doing spell work against your emotions, your passion, or how you, your emotions towards your passion that's connected with your passions, right? Your protection, they're doing a lot scrying mirror i feel like they're trying to scare you guys that's what i'm getting with this one maybe you look in the mirror you see some shit or they're trying to project some 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 demon through a mirror they think they can do this this is not cool why would they why would they do this all right like y'all protect it all those spells were sent back and they trying to say it can't be sent back to me but it is sent back to them and they feel themselves in balance that's what i'm getting the imbalance with that balance yep autumn this is the fall they feel like their household is falling apart their stability Whatever reality they got going on, whatever 5D reality they claim that even though it was copying you, that's falling apart. Your familiars, your guardians are here, near you, and here all the time. And they're watching this this, this karmic because they was burning candles on you and your familiars. Your familiars became giants. A giant, I'm seeing this black cat as a giant. A giant frog blocking out this karmic witch spell work. She could even call on Isis, a set. That's disrespectful. You a whole witch. Bitch, she looked down on you. A set looked down on you, karmic. You should look at you as just this low-grade Wiccan. Not to say I said don't have respect for Wiccans, but she don't have respect for this Wiccan right here because she's low-grade. Yeah, she practices death spells. Around those those um, Day of the Dead ceremony, sometimes she be out for blood. I'm telling you. She may say, no, no, that's not true. Oh, you just say that to make me look bad. Or you make it, yeah, you making my work look bad. No. I'm telling y'all, not all the time, but recently she been using these Day of the Dead to have you unalive or to take your light from you, your soul. Recently, these past two years, y'all using the Day of the Dead to hex y'all. That was her intent, intention to hex y'all. Using this Day of the Dead to hex you guys. All right, y'all been in incubation, protected. All right, and this karma didn't know. 
Spirit kept it a secret how protected you are. Spirit got their own formula set up. You see this book of shadows? Your bloodline hold a book of shadows that you only you tapped into. These are spiritual traditions that can be tied with hoodooism, voodoo, any spiritual religion, practice, okay? And you need to keep this to yourself. You can share it with others if you feel guided to because y'all bloodlines connect. Not in that way, but in the sense of like y'all meant to share. Most likely they're going to share something with, with you with, with between bloodlines. Let's say you have a collective like me. You can share some of your book of shadows with your collective, but be selective. Be selective with your collective. That's even a message for me. Because some people are going to infiltrate and pretend to be a part of your collective. Even if they don't know, like, someone that, that you know, right? They will just pretend. All right, because they want to receive the message or they want to receive your light, see your light. So receive charge up, but they secretly don't like you. They don't like this or like that about you, which makes it. It, like, them not liking it about you really, like, affects them. All right, and some days they will just be projecting negativity. So y'all want to just keep your energy protected. All right, but I love you, um, you guys. By the way, I'm seeing all this love that y'all sending me. Thank you. Yeah, they broke the wicked rude, and just know your book of shadows is protected against whatever BS they BS they try to to manifest. Like I feel like your book of shadows is protected by the by the wicked rude. Like look at this as like a protective shield over your book of shadows, and this can't be broken. I guess they're trying to break these spells that keep y'all protected, and and these is coming from your ancestors' book of shadows. Or they're trying to like break the spell that keep these ancestral magic magic traditions and they can't, they're breaking the wicked rule. Yeah, they had you on the altar and they was calling in their spirits. For some of you guys, this could be someone initiated under um Ishu, Ilegua. All right, they work with them in the past or whatever in their initiation is. They made they felt like they can do this, like spirit initiated them. And this shit turned them cold. It froze up their assets. They're trying to grow, they're really trying to like. With this summer and winter, they're trying to use, the, with the summer, they're trying to use the sun to unfreeze what spirit froze. And, like, their spirit, they, their accounts could be frozen. No money really flowing in. So they're trying to, like, I guess, undo that. And every time they try, spirit wake up to it, and the same thing happens. All right, they go right back into frozen energy. All right, spirit got a boundary with them. They're not coming out of this ish so easily. All right, this is someone that was praying for your downfall, but will tell you that they was praying for y'all. This is powerful. Your wicked root is protected. Y'all did not need to worry. All right, this dark witch would, would never was going to have your soul. And this is why the spirit is so mad at her. It could be at him too, but at her because she really tried to use kin magic to take away your spiritual guardians. All right, take care of your spirit guide. Take away your shadow that protects you, your shadow side, which is, I'm, I'm getting, um, shadow angelic okay so that's a whole nother topic there's a lot of angels that come out of the primordial waters okay but they were trying to take out your shadow doing spells against your shadow all right you don't try to utilize your shadow to get you to tell on yourself to get you to expose yourself these kitchen witches and they thought they can do it they were tracking y'all down on the internet and they're trying to lie and say it was not me it's not me because listen first of all I guess they see good things coming in for y'all and they realize it more and more every day that those spells that they did was not meant for you. So they don't want you to think that they did it even though you know that they did it, okay? Thank y'all for watching. Yeah, I feel like this person, look look at this book as your Akashic Records, right? And I feel like this person did read with the tarot cards that you learned your lessons which unlocked your pros your prosperity, like I've been saying. And this is locked in the stars. Understand, you know, if you can read the stars, you can read this. All right, so this person has the ability to tap into the stars, but I feel like not anymore. They can't uh, uh, tap into that Akashic realm anymore. That's like a higher chakra, right? That's been closed because they're going against a divine being that's you who holds and have the authority to be in these higher realms. And they have no right to attack you. It's like, honestly, I feel like this this could have been someone that just got to that realm of the Akashic Records. It's, it's a chakra that gets you there, okay? And, and it's a whole dimension as well, okay, that holds the Akashic Record information, all right? And I feel like, you know, I feel like this person was only, I, I feel like they just got up there. They wasn't even there long enough. You've been there for like millennials, lifetimes, many times. 
your crown have ascended and sh- and shifted up there when you came on earth. And I feel like they just got up there. Maybe that's why they didn't know the rules or regulations or they just manifested into this this um universe so they don't understand how the universe works, okay? At least this side of the universe anyway. There's laws and rules you have to follow. You are not no longer in that chaotic primordial void. You got to follow order here. All right? And I mean, like, you can't even go into the void with all that crazy chaos that you're thinking because you'll get devoured, okay? <laughs> There's just certain orders that you, you got to follow, even in the primordial voice, truth be told, all right? If you are, if you know about it, okay? That is, like, some high-level chaos that is intelligent as hell. But, you know, this is someone... They is in a different void, you know? So wherever they come from, they're just not as intelligent, Okay? That doesn't mean that they're not equal. They have a chance to get equal. And a part of us can downgrade to non-intelligence too. So like I said, it's not like they're not equal, but they're just not on our level. They have to level up. All right. So yeah. And this person, I feel like honestly, y'all, I feel like they were trying to like <sighs> clear you away from being in 5D. I guess remove you. This person was doing some type of spell work to clear your energy away. So you won't be in the 5D. Like, remo- like they was asking the spirits to remove you from the 5D, get you out of the 5D. The spirits can't do that because you ascended there. You deserve to be there. Like I said, it was from birth since when you was born. Okay? I'm putting that back because that was just a distraction. All right, yeah. I feel like they try to hex y'all to stop y'all from being in the 5D. And they was asking the spirits to like clear you away but i feel like they was also trying to get the spirits to trick you into believing like okay like you guys I'm, let me tell y'all what i'm seeing and you can flip flop the roles for some of you guys you work for some of you guys you may work with like the Risha oshu this karmic is knows that and they may work with that goddess as well because she's a goddess an orisha goddess she were she would like you know call on oshu and ask oshu to trick your mind into thinking and believing she's working for you but she's really tying you up Cause she's thinking like, I know the spirits can do that. They can operate that way. They do hold their own intelligence. They are smart, but oh, you can't control Oshun. You can't command Oshun to hack somebody in secret. And 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 you work with Oshun, it's helping Oshun. You you whatever you give Oshun is giving her grace, giving her love. Why would Oshun hex you? Why would she betray you for this this dingy witchy karmic that have nothing really to offer Oshun? You what you offer Oshun is way more. Look, clearance is back. She wanted to trick your mind. For some of you guys, this karmic could have been trying to trick your mind into believing she's going to do some type of spell to clear up whatever hex is that she felt somebody was placing on you and she may work with the goddess Oshun she may be initiated under Oshun all right and truth be told y'all she was trying to hex y'all to get y'all out of your 5d consciousness and I feel like you know one way she was like knocking y'all out of that is you not knowing you not being aware of the spell for some of you guys her intention may not have been the 5d it just could have been trying to block your heavenly energy but she didn't know that heavenly energy comes from the 5d heaven on earth all right, you are that energy is like literally attached to you, and that will make your energy a part of your and that's a part of what make your energy heavenly on earth. So she's trying to hex and, and curse that goes against your 5D experience. So yeah, rather she knew that or not, rather that was intention or not, it still backfired on her. And, and by her not even knowing about the 5D, it makes it even better for her as far as not knowing that she's in, she's stuck in the 3D. But if this is a witch that's aware of the three of the 3D and the 5D, she knows she's in the, in the 3D. She knows she's stuck. She know that her prosperity been hexed. It been stopped. All right. She shouldn't have been attacking you. And that's just what she's feeling. And she don't want to keep feeling that. But she knows she shouldn't have been attacking y'all. All right. Yeah. She didn't realize going against you goes against the Wiccan rules. We can read it. All right. By the Wiccan law, we must, in perfect love and perfect trust, eight words the Wiccan rule fulfill. All right, and it says, and ye harm none, do as ye will, and never mind the rule of three. What ye send out, come back to thee. Follow this with mind and heart, and marry ye met, and marry ye part. So basically, and and ye harm none, as do ye will. Okay, so if you don't harm nobody, that won't happen to you. All right, keep in mind what you come back, come back to you. So follow this in your mind and in your heart, and you will live good. They didn't realize you was protected. This whole petition here protects you. Your whole soul is protected. 
There's rules effing around with you. And they the biggest rule is don't F around with you at all. Because you're going to find out. You are the epiphany of F around and find out. And people see it every fucking day when they F around with you. They know your soul is protected. It's documented in the stars. It's documented. Like, this is like, you know, you got insurance. You pull out your insurance card, your insurance policy. Bam, it's spirit. You protect it. And they be like, why, why, why? Why can't you do this? You do that. The spirit's like, I don't see that. Because your protection won't be here. You will be in such a dark zone. Honestly, if y'all was so wicked, like they say, you won't even be focused on them. Your wicked will be channeled somewhere else. Because that they're just, they, they came to, listen, because honestly, them coming for you has nothing to do with you being wicked. Have everything to do with your life. If you was wicked, y'all won't know each other. The hell? <laughs> you wicked because you have life. They ain't know since childbirth. All throughout your childhood, teenage year, adult year, all the way up until your elders. Yo ass is protected. Was, is, and forever will be. Some of y'all can be Geminis, Cancers, Leos, Taurus, okay? I'm hearing a Taurus miss you, okay? A tour. Some of y'all may go on tour. Some, yeah, some of y'all may be a tour, like go to a tour, like go on, be a tourist, like like go on vacation, a tourist, okay? Or some of y'all could be a tourist, the Zodiac sign, okay? But yeah, so this person thought like spirit had they back. They thought spirit got them. And they're realizing that death spell is it, showing up in their life every day. How that, that death spell did not protect them. All right. And it did not work on you. They may have trying to say, oh, it's not going it's, it's to be protected. Uh, it's going to work against you too. Or you're not going to be protected. Or whatever. It doesn't matter. Look, I told you, fertility, your fertility, your wound is protected. They're actually, they could be asking Oshun questions about you. Because Oshun deal with fertility. All right as well but i feel like this is someone that could have been asking the tarot cards as well about your fertility all right this could be whatever you're growing seeds that you're planting if you're pregnant yeah they was i'm telling you and it could have been a pacific spirit ocean right yup communication air asking the spirits question they was calling on pacific spirit and asking them questions about you they could have even been calling on archangel michael and asking questions about you if you guys work with archangel michael and they do do too but they feel unstable. All right. Somebody may feel unstable without a masculine. They may feel like their relationship is falling apart because they did a lot of rituals to break up your relationship. Yeah, look, communication, look, purge. They were even asking the spirits different ways to like remove you out of their energy. And the spirits was telling them to do shadow work. And I don't think that they received that communication well from spirit because their demons blocked them out from seeing that and showed them to do spell work on you. Their demons tricked them. All right, and that's just what it is. They need to separate from their demons. They need to leave those demons alone. If they work with demon magic and stuff, they need to leave um, that demonic energy alone. Because it's no good for them, and they should, they should know that. All right, they should know this. They don't need anyone to tell them this. All right, but y'all headed for the fifth dimension. Y'all learned y'all lessons in life. All right, you ascended from the karmic 3D world, okay? And y'all ascending to the 5D, all right? As the 3D collapse, you will be ascending. You're not collapsing with these people. And I feel like it's written in their Akasha that they're going to collapse because of prosperity. The fact that they try to take your prosperity. That's, that's what I meant by because of prosperity. Because of the fact that, you know, they allow their lack of prosperity to make them make sacrifices that kept them bound. Okay? I feel like this person is confused. All right, and they don't realize it's them acting out of their inner child when they get up and do these rituals. It's like, this is someone that catch a tantrum and they get into attack mode and they want to attack you with rituals. It's like someone that's insecure. They act like very much immature. Insecure and immature is hell. They get mad, catch a tantrum, and they're like, I'm going to do a spell. I'm going to do a ritual. And they're not just doing rituals and spells to remove any darkness if you was in the darkness, but you're not. But they're actually trying to hex against what you got going on hex against your business this is a sneaky bitch she be watching you in silent every time you trigger her she gets up and do a spell that's exactly what it is triggering you be triggering her so she gets up and do a spell to to downgrade you and and you know she she thinks that you want to be like her like she thinks you don't want to be all right she thinks that you want to be in her shoes you want her perspective so you can have her reward like i know there's people out there that's like that but you're not like that and you don't need to prove that to her because 
Even though she claiming you're a wannabe, you still achieving, you're still winning. Now she'll say, oh, that's my energy. Well, you've been doing this for so long and you and you all that because you're still in energy, that don't make sense. They're delusional. Y'all know how to fill up y'all cup and stay in that energy. Some of y'all could be going to a concert. Nicki Minaj is on tour. Y'all could literally be waking up, getting ready to go to a concert. Some of y'all could be psychics waking up ready to open up your own shop or you could have woke up and felt guided to get a reading. These readings can really be helping you build even like build stability within yourself where you feel more stable in the inside, more secure. All right. Not confined in fear. It's like, and I feel like a lot of y'all are realizing that it is best to stay away from karmic people. Maybe these readings are also showing you staying in solitude is what's best. These readings are showing you who's trying to keep you stuck. So there's a karmic that may be against you watching tarot, you getting tarot readings, or if you're a tarot reader, they're against your readings. Like they watch, they'll watch you and be like, Oh, that's my energy. You're copying like they're like, all oh, that's my business plan. They're like, your success, they're like, that's mine. All that is is me. And I don't understand why they would feel that way unless they don't feel successful. They like I'm I keep getting an explorer page. A lot of these people are seeing you show up on the explorer page. You popping up on their recommendations and shit. Like if you guys are readers and they watch readers too, you popping up. And it could be because they're looking you up. But even if they like having the oh thank you for the heart. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But even if you guys, even if um they haven't looked you up in a while, you still popping up. I feel like it does play a part with them looking you up already on their own free will. But you keep popping up. And honestly, I feel like it, a part of that is because they kept trying to integrate, intertwine with your energy so they can have your prosperity. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. But I feel like they see, listen, take out resonate. But I feel like they see you guys on the floor page. They see you making money. You, y'all could be trending. You could have you could be trending and making a lot of money. You could have started a trend and it manifested a lot of prosperity and abundance for y'all. You a whole trend. All right. Like people want to say you jumped, you jumped on the, the 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 trend, the bandwagon. This somebody could be saying you jumped on the spiritual trend. No, you're trending. That's just what it is. You could have said something specifically and isn't a whole hashtag. You could have said a hashtag, whatever. It's trending. Like clearly you're meant to be doing this because you're trending and you're not just trending nonsense. You're trending like spiritual stuff. You're trending healing. You're trending love. You're trending, you know, light. So it makes sense. Even if this is you doing hair, nails, makeup, fashion, it's healing for people watching you. You give up healing vibes. It calms them down, help them concentrate. Them seeing you concentrate when you're doing the makeup on the nails or whatever it is, you help them focus. I, I know these karmics don't understand you. I get it. I, I get as far as like, like, as far as like, I see them not understanding you. And I get what you've been going through. Like, they don't understand you. And, and it's because you're so damn different. The only way that you can be entertaining is if you're shaking your ass or you're selling yourself. All right, you're selling out. Okay, but like I said, you ain't crumbling with the 3D. They crumbling trying to figure out how can they stop this 3D collapse. You can't stop it. Thank you all for being here. Again, I felt like they don't want y'all to be here. They don't want y'all to support and show me love because that, they don't want y'all to receive the love. It's like, this could be someone, they're like, you can fill up your cup without spirituality, without all that light, that love and light. Like, they want you to obsess over, like, their darkness or whatever like that. This could have been an ex. That's outside of this, like, twin flame separation. Y'all let me know, all right? Because some of y'all, y'all twin could have just been possessed by their own demons. They, maybe they had to go through the cycle to really see the light. I don't know. But I feel like someone keeps trying to get out of this ascension tension. Every time they try to manifest them getting out of it, it it's, it's still there. Like, they're trying to remove this head. They can't remove it. Yeah, y'all making boss moves. They seeing y'all making boss moves, okay? I'm telling y'all. They seeing your business plans unfolding. They're seeing it. And I'm not only are they copying it. But they actually trying to, like, pray to receive the exact same energy. Like, that's their intention, to receive what you're receiving. And they don't, listen, a lot of y'all, they, for some, listen, I don't know. They, listen, y'all. I don't know. I feel like, you know, y'all are in y'all bags, making y'all money. That's because y'all, you know, making moves, business moves. But a lot of these people are, they could be assuming that you're rich as hell. Like, you're hiding your bank account money and statement you got a whole bunch of money and it comes from you stealing from them or some of y'all could be on government systems they're like you don't deserve their need that you got secret money hiding in accounts 
somebody is really stressed out and thinking like you trying to steal their money and this could be like a sick female like she's like the reason why she ran out of money is because you still in energy from her her bank account been been low i don't know you guys and they're like oh you making all this money now it doesn't even make sense how they're speculating like this, okay? It really don't make any sense, all right? But y'all in y'all bag, man. I, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. Y'all turned y'all dream, whatever it was, an imagination into a reality. It was started with a daydream, a, a fantasy you thought it was, imagination, and you turn it into a reality. I'm actually proud of y'all. And, and you know, maybe you were sleeping on this idea, this thought for a long time, but you took a leap of faith and it was a lucky one, a fortunate one, a luxury one. All right, it's like you're experiencing, you know, the luxuries of life and life. And I feel like a karmic just don't want you to have that. They don't want you to have that in your reality, okay? They just feel like it's not fair. It's meant for them. Like, no, man, you're noble, all right? Your dignity, prominence, all right, man, listen, you're a strong person. You deserve this. Whatever, you know, this luxury is, you totally deserve it. Whoever they think you are, that's all in their imagination. I just feel like they caught up in wanting to have what's meant for you first. They can't believe your crown. Like, this is your crown. Like, they could have saw your crown shark or your higher self. Look, man, okay. Somebody claimed they know your higher self plans or they know, or they know what you got planned. All right, they may have felt like they connect with your higher self to figure this out. Somebody may think that they know what you're getting prepared for, what spirit is training you for. Because they claim that they all in your business. You are very euphoric. Like, honestly, I feel like you you being happy, it just shows what it is that you're doing. You're living life. All right, whatever your plans are, they can tell from your business page. Okay? Or you could have gave them, like, you could have told them this idea. So it's like they don't really need to do all this spying with tarot cards. Or even going to readers to like spy on your energy is not that serious. They trying to say they know your plan. Somebody's also trying to say they spoke with your higher self. They trying to say like they that that your higher self. All right, because I heard this person say their higher self. Um, and they're speaking, they're speaking about you guys, but that they, all right? So this, I'm hearing the karmic, the collective karmic speaking. They're trying to say, like, your higher self showed them that you're trying to send them obstacles. For some of you guys, they're trying to say their ancestors, like, pinned you down and forced to get the truth out of you. That's so stupid. Why would you, like, you so focused on yourself. This could have been someone who you even collaborated with, worked with. You was a part of some type of group effort with them, Okay. Maybe like a tarot group or something, a spiritual group. All right, I don't feel like they know your plans like they say. They can just tell that you're manifesting. All right, and for some of you guys, this could be someone that is also trying to like start a business of being like an empath. Because your business, I'm here in empathic business, like your, your, your business, like a healing business. Yeah, I feel like they're copying your empathic ability, your the fact that you're so like highly sensitive, like how the way you feel. Maybe they're trying to come off as extra compassionate. They're thinking that they can do what you do. Like they see the power that you have and they're thinking that they can do that. I feel like this person is also trying to distract you, send you distraction so you won't be an empath, so you won't know that you're different. You're meant to be unusual on this planet. And even though you're different, you're also like, very diverse and i feel like that's what make you relatable is the fact that you're so different okay your energy is diverse so your i feel like your energy works well with many other different energies you may like when when people work with you they instantly act, activate into like synergy yeah this person tried to send you karma death yeah that was their karma death and they thought they was going to receive a rebirth from doing this to you that's the most dumbest stuff i think i ever heard of what makes them think they're going to receive prosperity trying to unalive y'all? That don't even make no damn sense. They thought they knew exactly what spell to do. Like, y'all are chosen, okay? Yes, honorable chosen ones. Rare breed chosen ones. 
Somebody was trying to keep you earthbound. Earthbound to obstacles. Like, keep keep you earthbound. And you will be earthbound, filled with obstacles. And even, like, your business will be filled with obstacles. They will send obstacles towards your business. Star seeds, yes. They will send obstacles towards your business. So your business won't grow. Your business won't manifest. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, and I feel like this was like intense motivation. They had a, a, a desire and passion. They truly believed that their ancestors were out to get you. And you basically, they this is what someone believed that their ancestors was bent after you because of how you abused them in the past or past life. And they're like, you know, they're going to assist spirit now with like spells. All right. I'm seeing you guys as a sunflower. I know this is a whole different flower, but it's giving me sunflower vibes. All right, that's also Oshun's energy. You guys may definitely be, you know, you have goddess energy, like for sure, feminines. And I feel like it, I guess, represents Oshun energy. Like the energy that you carry, like resonates with like Oshun. Like y'all, like, like, I feel like Oshun likes your energy because of the energy that you carry is like hers, okay? If that makes sense. It's like you reincarnated with like Oshun's energy. You most likely could be a child of Oshun, a daughter of Oshun. Okay, that's basically what I meant to say. Okay, so yeah. So my name could be Sheena. Hey. I do live readings. I'm going to come on here tomorrow to do a live reading in the morning around this time. I'm putting, like, I'm putting myself on a schedule so I can properly, like, you know, keep my business flowing. All right. Clearly, I got to do things differently. All right. But, yeah, this was someone that was basically trying to say they know your purpose. They know your soul purpose. They know which direction you're heading in life. They may have even been saying they know when you're going to have a baby, who you're having a baby from. And they was like, they can manifest a way to stop it. They felt like the spirit revealed all of that to them about you um, to stop you. That's what they truly believe. And they're like, they know your plans. They know what you're being prepared for. They know what spirit is, is like, what spirit is training you for, why spirit is showing you things. They're like, they're, they're like, they know your purpose. And it's like, this is something they believe that your whatever your purpose is, is your purpose. But they also believe that they can use their magic to destroy it. So whatever your purpose is, they... Uh, listen, they believe that that is your purpose, but they also believe that they can stop it and understand they're doing this because they don't like you. You didn't do anything to them. If you did, you won't have this purpose. All right. I feel like this person may feel like, well, you know, if I don't know, this person, they may feel like sometimes this is like whatever their purpose is. Let's just say they're a terror reader. Sometimes they feel like it's not their purpose and it's because they're attacking people trying to make them miss out and skip out on their purposes. So they're going to feel the same, but they don't want to acknowledge that or believe that because maybe they attacked another terror reader in the past that really was coming for them and they haven't healed from it. So now they think you're like that. And they're trying to say, no, that's not true. That's, that's you being, um, you being manipulative or they try and say that's me being manipulative, but it is true. They, they haven't healed from it and they really think it's you. It's like, they trying to say you, you could have said something like for a lot of you guys, you sense this person sniffing in your energy. And you called them out. They're trying to flip it and say, that's the reason why they said something to you or about you or did what they did because you said something first. Even if so, they need to confirm, not lie and deny, confirm that they was in your energy. They was watching you. They're trying to like deny and hold that back the time when they was watching you before you even said anything, when they was sniffing in your energy. That's what made them become so obsessed is because you knew and you called it out. But they even trying to like, I feel like they even trying to flip and twist Papa Leg by mind into believing that it's you. And he don't like that because he knows what the truth is. He could have even shared and revealed the truth to you about this karmic. So how did this karmic? Or he was like, he was there. He saw your ancestors divinely orchestrated that truth to you. And he had no issue with that. He is a gatekeeper, you guys. I don't, I feel like they could be dreaming of Papa Leg by of him coming for them. 
They could be having, I, I picked this up before. This is the third damn time I'm picking this up. Like somebody keep having deja vu of them seeing things about you. Like they saw like, like whatever they like when they watching you, they'll have a deja vu moment and they'll think that is about you. Like that, like, okay. Especially if you like, um, I don't know. How, okay. If you're a tarot reader, right. Let me just use that as an example. Please flip it. And you know, if it don't resonate, it just don't matter. It just don't resonate. All right. Let's just say you reading and you don't, you're not even paying attention if they watching you or not. You will say something specific and they'll have a deja vu moment. And then they'll be like, Oh, I just had deja vu. And that spirit let me know like that's going to happen to you. All right. But, or it could be them watching y'all online, they have a deja vu moment and they'll take that as a sign like something bad gonna happen to you. Like, oh, I saw, oh, I just saw, you know, myself watching you before. That's how I know this is a sign something bad about to happen or spirit warning me about you. But I feel like the deja vu applies to them watching you and they did this before. And maybe that is a sign from spirit that they're trying to warn them, like, hey, you psyching yourself out. You did this before. You was watching this person obsessively before. You did this shit in the future and you just caught up to it. That means you ain't changing. You recycling cycles, but they don't want to see it that way. They want to see it as they're highly intuitive, highly vibrational, super high, vibra- high vibrational. And this could be someone that, that mess with vibrators. And I feel like the reason why they mess with vibrators is because they feel low and insecure about like themselves. And they feel like no real man will want them. So let me just get a vibrator. All right. Like, I mean, if you're, if you offer self pleasure, if you like it, I love it. Right. But it's coming from insecure space in, in on their side. So, and it's not satisfying them. You get what I'm saying? They wake up still wishing they had like real penis. Sometimes they be mad at the vibrator. Sometimes they be mad at themselves. Like I should never use that shit. All right. Could even be the one that be like on the clitoris and stuff. Like, yeah, they be getting, they be getting, they, they fucking rocks off on that shit. All right. And, you know, I just feel like they dabble in low vibrational stuff, like black magic, the dildos and stuff like that. Like, you know, and, and they even, like, imagine, like, them being pounded by, like, a real man. Like, that's their masculine. Like, they're like, oh, I just, I felt my masculine when I was like that. They're weird. This could be, like, a, a group of weird witches. And they're like, oh, I felt him when I was, like, like that was his hand movement. It's, you get what I'm saying? It's weird. And they want to say you have those type of sexual experiences. I don't see how. I feel like this karmic mind is um i don't feel like their mind is is tapped into your mind and they think so them thinking they're tapped into your crown is what got their crown all delusional in the first place they that was a bad choice to try to even use proper leg bar to tap into your mind they may have thought he were he rules mercury that's the mind that's their intention backfired on them because you making choices to to be about the be to be about fortune luck and in and, and luxury all right, that's, that's the energy that you are about right now. Like, yeah, this person could have even been, like, doing spells to get your vagina. They was, somebody was using a peach to poison your vagina. Like, they was actually using the peach and sticking, like, like let's just say nails, but, like, like with poison on it. Like, I'm telling, I can't make this up. They'll use, like, some type of hexen oil, put it in the nail, and then put it in the peach. And it was, like, utilizing your peach as a vagina. How I got that downloaded from looking at this. This gave me the peach um seed all right and around it was the peach meat all right but yeah i don't do this though i don't do i know you can use limes and lemons and put clove in it and sprinkle salt to bring in protection and i'm just seeing them them flipping that concept and them actually trying to like poison and soil you, your vagina and they could have been using mama oshun to do this that was the choice that they chose to make they should have chose to wake up in the morning and refresh their vibe but they chose to attack you guys. Some of y'all going to be wearing LV and they didn't want y'all to wear LV. Lux- they don't want y'all to be wearing luxury, feeling luxurious. You wearing luxury perfume, having luxurious items, furniture pieces. And it's like, you know your way of uh, in life. You know your way of life as well. That's your spiritual, um, your spirituality. It's like you guys are a, woman, a warrior. And some of these karmas, they are scared of you because you're strong. All right, I'm seeing this as a weapon here, and that's your weapon, and you will knock them out. They, it's like, I'm seeing y'all, honestly, I'm seeing y'all in the past life as, like, some of y'all could have been connected with, like, the African Amazons in the past life. All right, some of the Amazon that was in Brazil, I guess. I know they said some of the Amazon women was bad, but I'm actually seeing, like, a pack of warrior women at the fight, all right, because their men was taken out. But 
if y'all are connected with like Native American, I'm seeing you guys as a Native woman in a past life fighting and protecting your land along with your with your husband. All right, along with, with y'all men, all right, period. All right, and that's the choice you decide to make. And that's what makes your soul so blessed is that you are a warrior and you're not afraid, you're skillful at that. Okay, so take that how it resonates. And I feel like you are following the same soul plan. You came here to fight for what's yours. You're not in, in your this year, this I mean this lifetime, you're fighting against magic, black magic, witches. It ain't the oppressor this time. They manifested as witches. That could be their forefathers. Okay. Even if they're black, they can have a, a granddaddy, great, great, great granddaddy that's white or got white grandmother, white a slave master grandparent, basically, or one of their ancestors' parent was a slave master. All right, and and understand some of them, those slave masters wifed up black women or the mulatto women, the women that was mixed or light skinned. Yeah, they would not have them as slaves. Their kids won't be slaves, but they will have black slave still even though he married a mulatto all right or sometimes a black woman she will be commanding slaves sometimes it was like that all right so that can that can be a possibility in this karmic bloodline who knows but i just feel like you know they got the oppressor in their blood y'all could have even been like in hawaii fighting against the oppressor or somewhere in the um, pacific islands Asian Pacific. No, you can't care. Don't I ain't asking y'all to care about them. Thank y'all for the 15k likes. Thank you guys so much. That's such a lot of likes. All right, yeah. I'm getting fight or flight. This karmic how the way their consciousness operate is fight or flight. All right, they don't know if they should fight or or flight. And that's like that's like you basically operating out of worry and fear, doubt. It's like they was listen, and I feel like how the way they take flight is actually fighting with spells. Nobody say they'll catch a tantrum, a temper tantrum. It's like at that moment their mind will like take flight. They ain't thinking straight. All right, that's what I really meant to say. Their mind will like take flight and they ain't thinking straight, and they'll go ahead and do a spell. You know, and, and really they should take flight, thank you, but they actually fighting. But it's from like a flight mindset. You get what I'm saying? Like a flight mindset. Them fighting with a flight mindset. Their mindset is off and they think that they're smart and intelligent from whatever they accomplished in the past. That doesn't mean they're in that now. Look, Pete! I can't make nothing up! Yo, you represent Peach from Mario. Shout out to Peach. Okay, because she was a real and real peach. She's a warrior. Check out the Super Mario Bros movie. That represents a real peach. She was nothing to be played with. Shout out to you guys. Thank y'all for the lightning and the other. Um, I guess those are gifts. I don't know what those are, but thank you <laughs> for the cone and the lightning bolt. All right, but look, then I said they use a peach. So I, I picked up to go against your yoni. All right, but they was also trying to inflict your beauty as well. All right. Inflict your beauty with a bunch of ugliness. And have you waking up feeling a bunch of pain around your face like you've gone through like a bad cosmetic surgery. Are they asking? I feel like, didn't I say they do beauty spells? I, if y'all not spirit, you're not going to understand this. But I'm getting, they asking spirit to pretty much give them cosmetic surgery. A whole new face. And I feel like, If they ask the spirit to pretty much give you a whole new face, make you ugly, they're waking up with that cosmetic surgery feeling. They even feeling like they face tight and they they like I ain't looking right. Like they have a face like or like like they waking up with like a nasty permanent like look and it doesn't look good. Oh my god, thank you for the hanging life. Oh, I saw that somebody else's TikTok live and I was like, oh my god, I wonder if I'll get that and I got it. I was watching the gamer, y'all. She's cool. I don't be watching Tara outside of like you know, I don't watch my reads like that. I do watch some tarot, but y'all, I be watching gamers. I be watching movie reactions, reviews. Thank y'all for the confetti. This was a blessed live. I'm glad I came on today. This is a sign that I need to keep this schedule flowing. Okay, I love you guys on here. All right, but what was I saying? All right, yeah, they were just, listen, they was attacking you, all right? Your beauty, that serenity around your yoni. If you're masculine here, flip it around your balls, okay? Yes. 
she she or he was thinking i can attack you you ain't gonna know okay thank you <laughs> i know <laughs> that really made me happy <laughs> it did i'm grateful for you guys all right but um yeah she was sending conflict towards your beauty she wanted your face to change yeah somebody also could have gotten cosmetic surgery somebody got a facelift or is about to get a facelift i don't know I, I feel like their recovery process is going to be, their face is going to be painful. Somebody also, they're going to get some type of facelift or some cosmetic surgery on their face, and they're going to wake up with their face burning. Their face is going to be on fire. That's like a bad reaction. Like, and their face is going to be so red. They're not going to die, but they could. They could. They could have. All right? That magic ain't magic in for real. It's really not. But they could have died from this, okay? But, you know, they may end up suing that practice. Okay, but and now this is your karmic. They actually may go through that feeling of their face burning. Like I said, that's the repercussions of their spells backfiring. A lot of them don't want to believe this. All right, well, so you just said it was about that. Like, yeah, the rules, listen, the universe is infinite and limitless. And that's what I'm picking up for you too, I, karmic. I'm picking up some of y'all karmic spaces going to be burning. Y'all playing with other people's beauty. Or if this is a, a witch, she got plans to go to a, a, a surgeon. That karma is about to manifest through that surgery, all right? Trying to change your ties and flow because people find you charming. You have a special poise, but they feel like you finessing people's energy, and you're not. You're not finessing no... Listen, I feel like, you know, you just know how to make energy work for you. You could be teaching others how to make energy work for them, okay? And they just don't like it. So let me see. We got twelve hundred views. Yay! Thank you guys. We got the comments. Shaking hands. I just heard that from my spirit team. Yeah, they had their hands shaking. Okay, and some of them they may get arthritis in their hands too. Some of them was trying to stick needles in 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 the, that voodoo doll hand to block your craft, block you from creating. These people just don't realize. All right, some of y'all could be content creators too. Yeah, you may wake up feeling refreshed, looking refreshed every day, getting ready for the day. A part of your day is creating that content. Or planning the content you want to create for that day. All right, you wake up feeling regenerated, renewed, just ready for the day. You just wake up feeling like coral. All right, some of y'all watch SpongeBob because I'm here in Camp Coral. Okay, yeah, you get ready, you get up, and you get ready for work. All right, or this could be your business, whatever content you create. You you get you get up and you get ready for work. You get ready to handle business. You standing on business, okay? You get ready for duty, reporting to duty. That could be God. Reporting to duty, sir. Y'all listen, y'all hard down is obedient to God. And karmic say that you listen to God. They feel like you should be rebellious. Why? You like God created us. Why would you go against that? Oh, if it wasn't for him, you won't be here in this creation. All right, and it says obligation. Yeah, you feel obligated to God, but not that's not draining you. All right, you you wanna, you know. I feel like you guys, you want to put God first. You choose to put, you know, even thinking like God first. Like, what like what, what would be the godly thing to do, the righteous thing to do? And someone could have been conning you because of that, okay? Like I said, they were using alchemy and spells against your business. This could be someone at work. One of your coworkers, they read tarot cards, okay? They could be Hispanic. I ain't coming for them. All right, but they Hispanic and they reading tarot cards. You could be Hispanic too, all right? What y'all realizing in this Hispanic community to my Hispanic followers is that a lot of your Hispanic relative or even family, people that was close to you, they into divination from from small. All right, and they love it. Like this could be someone that like you didn't know your coworker actually like read on the side, like they have their own little tarot page. I'm telling you, they may not have much followers, but people like they I feel like they are like a part of a, a tarot group on like you not you it could be they could watch tarot readers on YouTube, but I feel like they're a part of a tarot group on Facebook. Like, that's where it all started for them. And I feel like they can even have um, a business page on Facebook that's more bigger. But I'm seeing their Instagram. They usually give people their Instagram. All right, sometimes for people to book readings. I feel like, yeah. Like, they'll tell people to DM me on Instagram, da 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 But I feel like they, like, they meet people through Facebook. I mean, I don't know why they don't do their, they could do their readings on Facebook, but they choose to just exchange it through, through Instagram. All right. For some of you guys, you know, somebody only gave you their Instagram, but not their Facebook. <laughs> Who's trying to hide their Facebook? 
Oh my God. Okay. Like somebody had their Facebook on private. Even if you do look them up, they got the, the different picture. You won't be able to find them. Please, they changed the name. They're like, you're not going to find me. It's not what my first and last name they're saying. They pretty much hid their Facebook. They did. All right. Yeah. Some of y'all could be pregnant. You're loving your pregnancy. You love being pregnant. Are you loving this pregnancy so far? Or you guys could be creating um something with this creativity. You may love what you create. You may love being a creative, a creative con, you know, creating creative content. All right, you just love being tapped into your sacred feminine. You love embodying that that teal essence. Y'all may be listening to music. You're definitely growing like a beautiful flower. Some of y'all may have a, a flower tattoo. It's very pretty. All right, y'all definitely embody feminine energy. Yeah, you you know, of course, you have your masculine side, but when you you guys truly shine in that sacred feminine, and, and people don't realize your masculine still balanced and flowing as you're embodying your sacred feminine. So that's who you are. That's who God made you to be. Some of these comments are trying to read your mind. Some of them were trying to be a mind reader. Some of y'all love children. You love creating children. Some of y'all, y'all just love that. Some of y'all have a, a rose quartz, neck, rose quartz ne necklace. Somebody have court tomorrow or next week. All right. And roses is significant. All right. Somebody may give you pink roses or this equivalent to y'all receiving your flowers. This is the pink card here. Emotion, love, and um, what does it say? Unity. So this could be you guys being in unity with your baby if you guys are pregnant. Okay. And it says pregnancy, creativity. Yeah, so shout out to y'all pregnancies. Definitely send a lot of positivity towards y'all bellies, okay? Keep y'all babies protected and stuff. Iris, because I feel like you guys are meant to embark this journey with your baby. Even the journey you're going through right now. But don't forget, like, your baby is here. And I feel like even after you have your baby, you guys are going to be embarking into a, a, a next journey, a bigger journey. It's going to be good for you. It's a good journey. You may be a bit afraid because it's unknown to you, but it's a good journey. All right, even if you're not pregnant, this could be you pregnant with possibilities. All right, some of y'all could be pregnant with child, though. All right, it says youth here. You see the child, the fool. Yup, this is you embarking a new journey for sure. And take this leap of faith with innocence, not fear. Somebody could have been calling you immature, but you got your shit together. All right, you immature because you following your intuition. That's crazy. That's immature of them to say. All right, look, Saturn is watching you. The god of Saturn is watching you. The god that is connects to Saturn is watching you. Okay, you could be a part of that bloodline here. All right. Well, I just heard Helios. I don't know what that is. All right. Some of you guys should use amethyst as well. Look at all these purple colors. So I feel like you, you are wise. The crown chakra is open. You're welcome. I'm glad I caught your comment. Because I don't be reading the comments like that. All right. It's 1131. I'm about to get off soon, you guys. I got to pull some tarot. I've been pulling Oracle. Yeah. So for a lot of you guys, you know, y'all could have been feeling very enthusiastic, fun, or have vibrational lately, or you are going to start become like feeling that be like you know fun happy it's orange and i feel like if you've been feeling down it could be just because your intuition is showing you things the truth and, it, and you know sometimes the truth hurts it you know it affects you right and and also whoever this is whoever you whatever you're finding out the truth about like whoever it's about just know they don't want y'all to find out the truth that's what i'm also getting so they may try to lie and deny but that's how they truly feel all right, and you know, y'all, I don't blame y'all. Y'all don't want to be played by this person no more. All right, they, if this is an ex, they could try to play you with friends, you friends to like play you, and and that would just sad. Y'all the impress people sleeping on y'all. They ain't know you the impress, huh? They ain't know you a queen, a rich queen here with that gold. They ain't know that you're a queen here. All right, or well, impress that that is royalty. They ain't know that you is royalty. All right, some of them could be saying, well, I'm royalty too, and I'm better royalty than you. They don't hold that same royal charm and poise as you. Okay, this could be someone they have to finesse to take from people. You don't need to finesse. You may finesse the energy to work in your favor because it's being stubborn, but it's always for the highest good. This person be finessing to take people, and they don't got to finesse. Just ask. Y'all definitely manifested wealth, prosperity, riches back into your life this lifetime because y'all had this before in the past life. Okay, y'all manifested. I'm telling you, I feel like y'all manifested like a huge goal that you reached in the past life, this lifetime. And I feel like that that 
that goal with riches here, okay? But I feel like a lot of you guys are also royalty. So that's automatic for you guys, all right? Like royalty flows through your blood. So you're you're always going to be prosperous. You're, you're, you're never going to be out here desolate, homeless, left without, even if somebody wants you to, all right? You're not going to be. Even if you've been through a shelter before, you was not homeless. You was in a shelter, all right? You know, they classify you as homeless because you don't have a place to stay, but you're actually living in a shelter. All right, now with God and Spirit holding you up, you never want to, and, and that's a part of your journey. Just know your life on the other side is so different from earth. All right, trust when you go back home in the heaven, you are going to be back in your, your royal throne. All right, and, and life starts again back on the other side. It don't end here and start here, okay? But, yeah. It's like, I feel like y'all was business owners in the past life, y'all manifesting this, that again, this lifetime, or y'all was celebrities, Magician stars, and that's manifesting again this lifetime. Or this was like, you know, this could be like a future life I'm picking up on, and you're meeting up with that future you, like now, this, right? Or getting ready to. All right. And I feel like y'all was also royalty in the past life, and I feel like that royal blood still flows through your veins. Okay. they not going to, don't go to like, you know, you can try to go to those incestuous sites and stuff, but they got certain information blocked out. They're not going to just allow everyone to know where their royal reign come from. They don't want people to claim their royalty. Okay, so you can try to, you know, be funny and say, well, how was I royal when, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't help you, all right, a lot of people try to question, how was we royal when, and, and it's true, you don't know all your lifetime, and then plus there's such a thing as cosmic royalty as well, there's a lot of Tiffany's here, shout out to all the Tiffany's, Tiffany and Co, luxury, y'all lived that lifestyle before. All right, listen, Tiffany & Co. is nothing familiar. I mean, well, is 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 nothing for you. I'm about to say nothing familiar. It's very familiar for you guys. That's nothing. You're like, you familiar with, like, other, you know, like, Cartier. Like, for some of you guys, your spirit, like, what, Tiffany & Co., Cartier? That's nothing. All right, because, listen, our ancestors came from pyramids. All right, we, come on now, alchemy. We was alchemizing luxury, okay? Come on now. Africa, the home of the diamonds. Stop. Stop with the nonsense and, and thinking that, you know, we can't be rich and royal because look at where we are now. You got to build. It's a whole new lifetime. Look at where we are. Look at the life. Look at life and, and how things misconstrued. And plus, we're in a whole other reality. For a lot of you guys, another reality, you are rich. You are royal. And this reality is just separate. And, and, and But it does still connect with what's going on in the cosmos. Y'all know this world been infiltrated. At least this, this reality that's a part of, that's connected with this earth. There's so many realities connected with this earth. All right? And, and you're here for a reason. You're here to help fight. Hello, <laughs> Tiff. Yeah, so, yeah, and you said, if y'all feel guided, utilize your clairvoyance to start a business. You can help people, heal people with your, your healing, with your gifts and abilities. Because these your clairvoyance is a healing gift. And you feel like you have a duty to share your gifts, to share your prophecies. You feel it's an obligation, do it. Don't hold yourself back. Just do it. Getting your yin yang is balanced here. Yeah, and I feel like y'all just gonna wake up feeling refreshed, renewed, good. And I feel like, you know, some type of karmic, like some type of karma is being renewed. Not renewed, well, well, not like that. Some type of karma is being like cleared away. Or maybe like your karmic debt is being cleared here and you're getting like even like a reset. I'm getting like a a karmic reset. I have to look into that. I wrote a karmic reset. If it's like a reset around like karma, maybe this could be like a fresh start, clearing all those karmic debts. You're getting like a fresh karmic slate. Because you know, karmic is not bad. Okay, karmic is karmic lessons, karmic storm is all about growth, okay? And lessons, it's all about growth, you guys, and, and, and evolving. There's nothing to run from. I feel like with this karma, your karma being refreshed and renewed, all right, it's like all that negative karma is being cleared away. Somebody was calling me. Karma is being cleared away. Like anyone trying to send you negative karma to start, nonsense in your life to create nonsense that's being cleared away okay somebody was sleeping on your knowledge and they thought you were sleeping on them like you you would not know that there was practicing death spells they they thought they had you like in a chokehold something about a clutch some of y'all drop stick shift 
They can't move on from this past this. Yeah. And I feel like somebody cannot move past the fact that you're following your spark. You're continuing to. You're not going to stop. All right. So they need to just stop watching y'all online. Okay. And move forward. I know. And it's always us with the pure heart. Yes. Me too. And every time I do try to open up to people, it backfires. Some of y'all can read palms. You can read destinies. You use your clairvoyance to read a one's destiny. That's a part of, like, I guess you're reading their soul, right? Yeah. All right. So Karmix is trying to say they're not stressing over you, but they are. Yeah. They, they were stressing over betraying you. Like, they really wanted some type of betrayal to work. Or they really wanted you to fall. And they realized that you blessed and highly favored. Like, you blessed and protected by the kiss of God. God kissed you, and, and that's enough to protect you. Yeah, and God blessed and kissed your work. You got, like, the, that kiss is a blessing. All right, you know they also got the, somebody got the kiss of death? Well, no, also a kiss of bless. All right, God kissed, blessed your business, your mind here. Somebody just need to work on themselves so they can have a, a better mindset, okay? A higher um vibrational mindset here okay and for some of you guys someone walked away from you guys someone walked away from you like emotionally this definitely could have been that twin that we was picking up on i do believe we can have more than one twin flame experience but it's just one person that is actually our twin soul all right like you can have one more than one twin but that one twin soul that marries your soul all right, those twins would just play as a part. Those other twins just play a part of like lessons to prepare you for you, like actual twins. All right, I, I mean, there's so different. There's so many different concepts around twins. All right, if you you know you have a different concept, you can share it, but you know don't project. Yes, positive vibes. But somebody could have like walked away from you emotionally. Like they didn't like. It's not like they didn't want to have feelings for you. I feel like they just didn't like want you at the time i guess like i don't i don't know what it is i, I feel like they didn't know what they wanted that's just what it is they didn't know what they wanted all right because that's exactly what i'm getting but somebody could be like stressing out over the fact that you emotionally detached they they feeling left out of course somebody could be stressing over money they could they could be stressing excuse me over the fact that they are like they don't like like somebody being like stripped of like like I guess their finances. Like somebody is like being stripped of their money or something like that. All right. Then they did not see it coming. Or they ain't got no coins or money just being taken from them. Somebody's really stressing like over their finances. Like when are their finances gonna grow? If y'all was stressing over your finances, I feel like it was a dark witch messing with your finances. All right, because you're definitely not meant to be stressing over this. All right. That, that witch that was looking into your energy okay it could be someone at work someone stressing about losing it all somebody could be stressing because like their heartstrings somebody could have been blaming you for why they their heart was broken like i feel like they broke their own heart all right i feel like i feel like they broke their own heart y'all like when, when listen i feel like when you walked away that hurt them yeah but they could have been trying to like Pin that against you or something like that. I don't know. Somebody was doing that. Somebody was. Maybe it was this, this twin. I don't know. All right. Maybe it was a friend who felt like abandoned by you. So when they get back at you or whatever like that. Okay. Four of cups. So I feel like whoever this karmic is, it could even been a group of them. A large group of them. AirPods just died. It was like a huge group of people. They wanted you to like reject your business or your job. It could have been like a group of people at work trying to get you fired. Or there's a group of people, just give them a family, a karmic's family. And y'all coming out of that, that obstacle. Somebody did not want you to focus on work, just them. This could, that definitely could have been like that the ex or that twin. All right. And they was going through a period of just like delusion. But for some of y'all, somebody could have been blaming you like for why they needed you. Like, and it's like. They know why you don't want nothing to do with them. But they could have been trying to blame you for it. I guess they want you to feel bad because you feel euphoric. All right. Every time I say euphoric, I, I'm euphoric. I say I hear euphoric. Yeah, I feel like somebody wanted you to be in some karmic energy. Like somebody wanted you to be unhappy without them. This could have been that twin. They was holding a grudge against you because you didn't come back to them. 
all right for some of y'all they they i feel like they was like in a they was holding a grudge Why am I getting like they pulling from that grudgeful energy? Maybe it's like a spirit around them, like a demon or somebody around them that's keeping them in that grudgeful spirit. All right. Like this is someone they was could have been saying they would never forgive you. Well, then you guys, y'all can never for y'all. Y'all can easily say I can never forgive you for the stuff that you've done to me. Good morning, Kaya. All right. Take out resonate. Because if, if this is with your twin, I'm, I'm seeing this This can go two ways. Either y'all forgive each other and move forward or it'll be an ever-ending battle. And y'all just in between, you know, in and out of, like, different relationships. Until y'all come together again, and you know, if it's meant to be, right? If that's, you know, if that's your story. But there could have been some karmic justice whooping his ass. He made some bad mistakes. He He's not perfect. And you're not saying that you are perfect. But he's saying that he is, and he's not. And other people knows it too. He tried to hide his karmic ways, and you could have exposed it. Could have even exposed the karmic witch ways as well. You could expose two people at the same time, and they was like, oh, we got to get back at you. Okay? Two witches. Or even like whoever this, this um karmic is, they somebody I'm, somebody wanted to get back at you. Because you, you could expose two people. All right, yeah, it was a female. It's Queen of Swords. She she definitely wanted to get back at you. You could have told this twin off around the time you was turning off this Queen of Swords or cutting her off. All right, and I feel like you pissed a few people off when you cut them off. That I mean, that shows that they really did care about you, but they didn't show it. They didn't word that. They didn't tell you. So how are you supposed to know? They they, they did not invest in in y'all connection as if they cared. You know, even if you you felt the slightest of care, it wasn't enough for you to stay. For you to be optimistic and give them another chance. And I feel like they want you to feel like, you know, stagnant. Like you left out in the cold. Like like, like you missed out. They want you to feel like you missed out. What you missed out on? Because they ain't doing nothing spectacular. What, sex? A baby? No, they missing out. They realize they freaking missing out. If they want you, they got to do right by you. And they need to come in. Opposed to just acting funny. Thank y'all for the 20,000 likes. That This was a beautiful um, read. Y'all follow my YouTube because I'm going to go live on YouTube as well. Like I said, I'm going to do personals tomorrow. Or I'm going to be in my bag this whole summer. Okay? But, you know, for, for a lot of you guys, they want to talk to you. Whoever this person is, it could, it could be a bunch of people that feels this way. But you may be picking up on one main person, Pacific person, right? While I'm confirming others that you may be off and on feeling. It's like they want to talk to you, but they feel like that they can't. They feel like you don't want to talk to them. Or, you know, they may feel like you don't want them to, like, you don't want to hear them explain or they feel like you don't trust them. Y'all, they made a big mistake with you. For, for some of you guys, for a lot of you guys, they're afraid of coming back. All right? Because they, they may say because you walked away, but I, I feel like they, they could be afraid of coming back. Because they, they, they could be afraid of what's going to happen next. Like, if you're going to take them back or not. That's their biggest thing, y'all. Okay, and if I feel like this could be, this could be someone that, that have family members that know that they have feelings for you, that they love not just like you, like love you, but they could have took advantage of that by make trying to make it seem like to this to this person that you don't love them. Yeah, they could have definitely had an insecure karmic family member that was jealous of the fact that this person was making future plans of marrying you. And yeah, she she got attached to y'all connection, and she could have got attached to you just to get closer to y'all you and your person's connection. All right, like, you and this person could have been cool. This could have been their sister, their cousin. All right, and she was low-key studying you, telling this person don't trust you. You got other guys. Or I'm here, other girls. So if this is you, you're masculine here. Yeah. All right, just flip-flop the road. They was basically saying you cannot be trusted. I would not trust this person. They, they a hoe. They try to talk to this friend, that friend. If they believe that, shame on them because they're supposed to know you better. They family member is just a liar. They lied on you. And they got to face the consequences for that because you messing up a divine union. You get, you get what I'm saying? Like, and you could have gave this person chance after chance. They got to consider that too. I feel like they're not being too considerate towards you because they're just mad at how, how the way you made them feel. And maybe how the way you made them feel is finally, them finally understanding like that's how they made you feel. How the way they felt is how the way you felt. Well, how the way they feel now is how the way you felt in the past. 
blocked out cold i mean blocked out left out in the cold if you block communication that's how you felt when they was ignoring your calls if you ain't seeing them that's how they made you felt when you um when they said they was pulling up and they didn't pull up or they didn't come and see you at all when they was ignoring you that's how you felt i'm sorry when you, i'm sorry you ignoring you ignoring them now that's how you felt when they was ignoring you okay so how they feeling now about you ignoring them you leaving them out in the cold you're not speaking to them you making them feel like you got other lovers that's how they made you feel for a lot of you guys they could have even tried to like throw up other lovers in your face and that could even make you think this wasn't a twin flame maybe a lot of you guys get to understand a twin flame connections too that you know it 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 could evolve involve chaos in the third parties and sometimes i mean i don't know i feel like this person have a choice to make they i, I don't maybe them choosing third party was a part of their karmic cycle all right something they signed up for so they can outgrow it they can learn because maybe they was bound to that karma of just being promiscuous that can happen all right sometimes we come here to clear cycles and how do we clear it up is is being in it and knowing that we're tired of this shit Maybe I feel like they honestly had to lose you so they can fucking change it. But I feel like a part of them also was like, I'm not changing until they get you back. But, you know, they also was trying to say if they change, they're going to find somebody better. They would have been to found somebody better, y'all. If they change, honestly, they're going to come right back to you. Like I've been saying, they was, do going to do that. they was doing in the beginning. But this could have been like past emotions or emotions that they that's still passing through. All right, their, their, their heart, their mind, their soul. But y'all going to be all right, all right? If they really want you and want to be with you, then y'all could be together. Or an another twin soul is going to, or an, um, another twin relationship is going to manifest. All right? I don't want to say twin soul, but, well, I guess your real twin soul will manifest then, right? But, you know, we'll see. But, you guys, I got to go. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you for the 21K likes. Thank y'all. Bye. In live before try sub live only, you may get one. Oh, I'll do that.